Alrighty, the new PlayStation 5 version of the game. Let's get it. I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. We used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burnt, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Use up the dual sense there. That's cool. Hmm. Go up there. Just the uh, graphics for a little bit. Oh, I can't do that here. Um, hmm. Ah, video. One notch darker. Uh, actually, we'll go another notch darker.
definitely appreciate in the uh, 3D sound. Missing the compass though. Station. Don't worry. I told you. I, I got it. I got it. Open up. Go. 
Where to now? Left across the square. Amen. Oh, hey, Demir, do you think the colonel knows what Artem been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people. Hang in there, Artem. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel! Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn <clears throat> How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but... People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Nah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. <coughs> Sadly, it's their job. <laughs> job. What's kept us alive until now? Huh. And how long do you think that's going to last? How many kids are there in the station? In the whole metro? Who will be left here in ten years? Ten years? We'll be lucky if we make it halfway there. No antibiotics, no suture threat. Which is why we can't afford to have our best fighters taking unnecessary risks. What will we do if all the Spartans come down with radiation poisoning like Artyom and the Nazis try something? That's exactly why they go up there. They know we can't solve anything by hiding in our holes. The stores are running out. There's fewer of us and more of the mutants. And those keep us <coughs> Uncle Ardion, don't them. worry. Sooner I believe you. Will, <coughs> will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? 
<laughs> uh, I'm not sure what could possibly be worth endangering themselves for like this. But who knows? Stop putting Maybe delusions into his head. I don't want him going crazy like you. Uh, I can't even sleep since you told him all those silly stories. Salvation out there. What could possibly have survived on the surface after all these years? The only real solution would be total evacuation. But where would we go? So, what are you proposing? Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. So, what are you proposing? I, I say we all just pop ourselves here quietly. I have no idea. But at least they are trying to shoot it down. Like a broken record. If not them, I'm leaving this time. You'd be a widow now. Stop it! No, you stop it. There's a comfortable flat waiting for you to enforce. A far cry from this horrible you can tell me. Exactly that, and it's time you stop thinking only about yourself. You know how short we are on veteran fighters. With your experience, you too must teach the recruits. You can save lots of lives that way. I'm so tired of explaining this to you. Dad, I won't come back without Artyom, and he... Anna, this is madness! Yes, I know it is. Spending so much time on the surface is suicide. Yes, I don't want to lose my husband to radiation. I hate him for killing himself out there like that every day. But what if you consider even for one second that Artyom was right? What if he did hear that signal? Would you ever forgive yourself if we let the chance go? The chance to come back to real life. To raise our children outside with sun shining on them. Real sun, Dad. I know I wouldn't. All right. Let's talk it over once more, with our men. I must say, though, that even if he did hear some signal that's not necessarily a good thing, we'll talk about it later, not in a public space. Deal. Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're all right! You gave us a scare, brother! Artyom! How are you, friend? I Pardon see you're me, all right. gentlemen, give way! This calls for a celebration. Artyom. A few more scars and you'll be completely irresistible to any woman. <coughs> Speaking of which... Alyosha, how you are the nurses in the hospital, guys, huh? Could you just stop crowding him? <sighs> Brother... Welcome back, Artyom. Ah-ha! Priviat, Artyom! All right, you're all dismissed. <laughs> I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's official. Yeah, I knew it. You guys are like kids. So I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. Oh, outside again. More of nothing? Artyom, the only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> Why, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. 
Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it! We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. <laughs> Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. I had to scare a demon away. It was getting too comfortable here. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful! At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? What kind of fervent only lasts us like for two minutes? Come on, man. Again. Hear that? It's a pack. Just what we need. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that was all of them. 
I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. We take the bridge to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get out there. Shit! Come up now. Did you hear that, Artyom? Something large, wrong. At least it was far away. Now that's what I call a blizzard! Can't see a thing! Or here! Let's switch to radios! <gasps> what the... Artyom, are you seeing this? I'm not just imagining things, right? A damn train on the surface! <clears throat> Where? See? I told you. Shit! What do we do, Artyom? Should we catch up with it? Look! It's our guys from the Order! It looks like they're chasing that train, too. Let's join them! Hey, come on! Get inside! How did you guys get here? Did you see that thing out there? We sure did! Come on, get in! Oh, shit. Fucking bastards. You should have checked first, assholes! Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. They won't be needing any masks. Fool, he could have lived. Let's go. Find a mask. <clears throat> I 
And this is where Ander thought I was dead. Shit, where's the thing to pick up? or something. Mm. There we go. Squeeze. Oh shit. No weapon yet. I was gonna say, you can't box that guy. Stay away from the highway. It's all blocked with scrap. From there you'd have to walk, of course, at least across the ring road. This place is alive, all right. The guys they have in their army are healthy as bulls. They're taking us to a patrician camp. But I don't think they'll keep us there long. A couple of days tops, and then find some work for us. I already heard the guards talking. About being short on hands, I say you guys drop everything come over here. I'll get everything ready. I'll send this letter as soon as I can, Dad. The frequently of the filters are ridiculous. Feel the vibration from the train, pretty cool. Ooh, quick saves. I like that. Oh, quick save is such a, a nice added feature for die can go right here. This spot just sucks. Ugh, it was 
ask the Sarge for anything, but this time I just had to demand a different post. Damn, watchmen broke through. Uh, the workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained on the opening. If anything comes through, shoot. Hmm. Send a group there to seal the exit and pick up the remains. Attention! The turntable is switching on. Oh shit. Now what? Hey, welcome to the stream. Pretty early in the game yet. Enough of your whining, you old fuck! You're going straight to the ravine if you don't shut up. Now listen, if you come out of here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Understand? Animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman? A human? How did you? Oh, oh my God! It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her. All right. I'll help. Finally, I'll be of some use. Okay, they took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Sanya, go tell the workers. Have them check. Oh, you turned quite civil again, Yermak. So you can use the trash. <laughs> Why? Move crouched. It's quieter that way. Is there anything else? See that ladder? Try sneaking to it now. Just stay out of the light, please. Oh shit. Stay close to the wall. Your mark, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Get started with come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. You can't follow me. Take that letter instead. Your mark, what's taking you so long? Well, as soon as got untied. I'm coming now. Oh, hey. 
Not Mikhailich. There's a fire at the generators. You should see it. Is it safe in here? Yeah, I totally need you to tell me what I should do. Better fix this. Everything is under control. Don't sweat. Come on, move it. Your bag of bones. Under control. <coughs> By the way, what happened to the workers they sent to fix that pipe? Wait. It's You'll have to take him down. That's Can you do it quietly? What are you even doing standing here? But of course. Everyone's What's with that mumbling? Come on, man. No, I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> I got the memory problem, you see. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait. Turn that light off. Distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Ah, right. Assassin's Creed style. I hope the noise distracts him. Well done. Go through. Hey! This system supplies air for the <laughs> command center. It's not that large, actually. Wait for the moment and go through. Good luck to you. Oh Don't shit. Think your dad is in all the He's training our people. Who could do it better? You know what? What is this place? What are those towers? Why did <laughs> Who the fuck are you? It's you! Oh god! Uh, uh, throw me at you! Uh, uh, you fucker! Uh, <laughs> from hearing anyone, and them from hearing us. Shit, this fucking sucks. Do you hear that, Artyom? You were right all along. Do you see? It's not just Russia out there. It's the whole world! Oh my god! What for? Because the war is still going on! And you behave like fucking kids! Alarm! All the guards will be here soon! Damn! Don't shoot! What do you him? With you, you have to run. Is this yours? They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards, you have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door. The guards are coming through. Moving. Here, quick. Let's go. 
Who are you? I'm trying to the museum back. The train engineer. Run now. Just get to that hangar and then go to the... I'll get you out of here. Then you me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Hey, guys. Be what's careful. Going on? Hey! Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Artyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Oh, I guess I can't use the ladder. Uh, Alright. How much air? minutes. Anything over here to pick up? Attention! The command center came under enemy attack. The attackers are assumed to still be on the base territory. Relax. What do you This is some situation. All unauthorized persons are to be fired upon immediately. Civilian personnel movement is prohibited until further notice. Attention! The jamming system is coming back online. Artyom, the hangar is right there. We can break through. 
How did I take the mask off? There's different controls than uh, <clears throat> the last two games. Let's see. Uh... So hold down. Save those gas filters. All right. Now these fuckers. Now I'll be stuck here for at least a week longer. It's been over a month already. And I feel they just had to attack now. Ah, this is the life. Great, and finally get a chance to relax like this. Group A, report to your status. What the hell is this? Got it Group B, continue patrolling the courtyard in the generator room. Group A, check the wind turbine zone. Communications were lost there. down here. <laughs> All clear. Am I glad to see you here? Are you alright? I'm fine, thank you. Alright. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the turntable mechanism on. 
And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. Heads up! It's the enemy! More guards! Get them! Oh, visual on the enemy! Difficulty's a little bit, a little bit rougher in this game than the last two. We could easily have the whole base on us. Come on, Artyom. Turn the turntable on. Hold on, I'm getting supplies, woman. Artyom, we don't have all day. Medkit, bitch. Come on, Artyom. Turn the turntable on. Turn the turntable on. Calm down. Like the air folders. <sighs> We're looking for them, I should say. Atyom, we've no time. Turn it on. Artyom, we don't have all day. Alert! All through the hangar! I see him! Shit! 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 Shit!
took a minute to find out. Ooh, I think I'm gonna hit over time. Whoa! Oh, this is, this is part of the plot. Don't let go, Oh shit! That was intense. Just like a camping okay? trip. Yo. I ain't let me use my medical kit. Um. We got the man down. together just a little yes run kill them come on yes You should put the masks on. The seals might be damaged. We did it! Yeah! Oh, shit. For the engineer. What do you mean, shoot these two? Don't this you dare right? give me lip, soldier. The colonel will give you a piece of his mind now. Colonel, sir, we have a situation here. Anna! Dad! Guys! It's us! Help us! What the hell? Yes, what are you doing here? Talk about sir. Colonel, this will mean court martial for all of you. All right, everyone, shut up! I can't believe this. Just can't. Shit! So this is true? You are working for them? The bastards shot Artyom! Be quiet! They... How did you end up here? Ah, it doesn't matter. You have no idea what you just stuck your heads in. We've no moves left. Hansa can't take this line no, down. Shit, the watchers Sherlock. won't let No, them. I won't be quiet. What is this jammer for? Why are they hiding the fact that Moscow didn't survive alone? There, in the ravine, there are people from other cities, dead! All Everyone of them, women, up. children! I'll tell you all later. Everything. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine, at least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They got the cruiser. All right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to it's not my this call, and you're misunderstanding. Well, I'll channel. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The no one behind. All right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead. Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch them there. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you 
were getting irradiated on the surface. My father just kept lying. Lying to you, to me, to everyone. The whole fucking world. And not even batting an eye. Uh? If you do not comply, we will shoot to kill! Fuck me, that's some armor. And look at all the machine guns. Happy now? Is this what you were hoping How for? How is this his fault? You knew everything and never said shit! Yeah. Shit! That's yeah. the last one! Yeah. Stop the engine immediately! Oh, fuck! Are you okay? Yeah, just a scratch. Okay, uh, okay, uh, yeah, stop uh, it. But I must warn you, our brakes are not in great condition. Yermak, start slowing down. Let them think we are surrendering. Ah, yes, finally some good sense. Now, keep breaking to a stop. Well, grenades will barely scratch their paint, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir. I will be appointing the volunteers here. Our team will do it. Why Artyom? Because he started it all, and he better do something about it. Artyom, leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime. Plastic explosives. Yeah, you you yeah, yeah, shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We weren't going to go far. Just out of town for it until the excitement quiets down. And you just opened fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to face trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No. I see only one answer. You've been fought and you're running back to your masters. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you carrying, man? Defense plans? You want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with our life, you damn cripple? Plans? Treason? We have served you people oh! without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you? I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! And I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you! Oh, 
Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I'm just a stalker! I'm not with him! They made me! Just grab on! Oh shit, it's gonna blow up soon. What's up, baby oh my boy? God, that's young. Thank goodness you're okay. <sighs> now we are not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Why the long faces? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder. What next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who were those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. To ensure radio silence, the SHIELD system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air! And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, I'll before Artyom took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under a strict, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back... Maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh... Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent disapproval of yours, check the airwaves. We should be out of the jamming range by now, so give it your best try. Look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station. Shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. 
off. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? If our team finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? Can you hear the radio if you guys talking so loud, you bastards? Then go ahead. Yes, I do. We have to find a good place for people from Moscow, like Artyom always wanted. Giving them all to the enemy? A grand idea. I say, we solve our problems before moving on to saving all Moscow. All right? How is it going, Artyom? This is the Special Restoration yet? Committee speaking from the Ark Project base. There's a whole Everyone world here. out here! Everyone's a world where we court. could live! Proceed to the rally Wait a moment, what was that? Location is code what? Listen, everyone! Area 18-5. I repeat, proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 18 Where was that number supposed to be? Area 18-5. Only by standing together shall we overcome any and all... The Yamantar Mountain. So the route from here should go... Like this. This is our goal! So, is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work. We will tell them that Moscow is alive. It wasn't all for nothing. Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? A new life is starting for all the survivors of the world. Yeah. Oh, by the way, are there any single women in that place? <laughs> Great reaction. So I think the moment calls for. Hmm. Bring it out, Demir. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir, that thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> Do you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, uh, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make ourselves comfortable, I guess. Let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be done with it. <laughs> nah, go to hell. Bill's a <laughs> Even better. Oh, come How on. How about Aurora? The Roman goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what. That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Ah, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. <laughs> Let's drink to the Aurora! Hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Hi. Full oh, steam ahead. Wow, that that's yeah, some distance. I wonder how long it will take. How are you, Alyosha? Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a Cupid, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker instead. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because I know you. Just so you know, scars attract the ladies. And there's definitely a lot of those up ahead. I don't need a lot, really. It's quality that matters. It seems to me, whether it was intended or not, that our colonel now has a goal to strive for because of you. 
We all remember the way you fought back in D6. So no matter what lies ahead, we're with you. You can count on us. Yeah, yes. As for me, I'm running a little inventory check. Yeah, it is kind of cramped in here. I'm thinking of making something of a workbench. So that's all the instruments we get, and everything else would be within arm's reach. With no workbench, you just lose small components. We'll use this place to work on the weapons. Cleaning, oiling, keep out of everybody's way, and keep them from messing with my stuff. And well, we'll have to take turns, of course, but we'll manage. So, if you find any weapons you have to keep, I'll stop you Hey, Dr. Young, is there any music on the air? The magical... Oh, it's not magical. Alright. They made that real. how they have it set up now. Idiot. <laughs> That's the name. That's the nickname. Attention! Attention! This is the Special Restoration Committee speaking from the Ark Project Base. Everyone who can hear me, everyone still loyal to the cuts, proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 1811 79. Area 18 5. I repeat, proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 1811-79. Area 18-5. Only by standing together shall we overcome any and all obstacles. Oh, what's a dog? <laughs> in on the dark ones. Was the air bitter then? Who knows though? Had you not launched those missiles, you'd probably never have climbed that building or received that signal. Life is weird. Huh? One random event drags another with it, like links in a chain. 
And you are pulling that chain out of a deep, dark well. The links emerge from the dark water. And what link is in that bucket that's on the end of the chain? Then, about two months ago, they loaded a bunch of people onto my Aurora. The guards took them outside and came back alone. Told me they took the people to a nearby station, but I knew it had caved in years ago. After all those years in the underground, the air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh, intoxicating. But that was not what had caused the crew's euphoria. Our journey finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military high command had survived. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau, if we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller, and we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed, that we'll get some answers? Froze anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here. Let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. <sighs> Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Sound the alarm! Shots fired! Four bogies on a trolley! Are you all right, Artyom? Damn! They pierced the cylinder! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Oh, shit! Damn fog. Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that bridge. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. May I go with Artyom, too? As backup? No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, when can you get the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I'm gonna take on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it then. Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. Stepan, Damir, get the perimeter. I'm on yes, the Duke. I need you to recon the immediate area. Got that, sir. Idiot, you give him cover from the Aurora. Yes, sir. Sam and Alyosha, stay in reserve. Yes, yes sir. Don't forget your notepad, Artyom. Wait, am I not trustworthy anymore? I'd tell you if it was the case, Sam. Now, cut the chatter. Uh, 
Artyom, your notepad is there on the ledge. Hmm. Aha! The old compass returns. Now what? To check your journal, hold L2 to take a closer look at the map. Hmm, alright. Let's go, Artyom! Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. Look at that detail. Well, that's all. Good luck, guys. All right. I gotta say, that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they serve the enemy. <laughs> what? Oh, I can't just run down. I have to slide like a little pussy. All right. I gotta say that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Let's go, slow folk. Maybe they served the enemy, enslaved or something. Going down. Haha, <laughs> that was great. Hey, what was that? Could you check it out? I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. Ah, an area with no photo required. I like it. Fuck those shoulders. Some supplies over here. 
Um, I want to make this build out there once and nothing in it. Let's try to stay close to each other. Artyom, there's a boat at the dock. Get over here when you're done. there'd be something here. Hmm, how do I use my backpack? There we go. X. See what's going on here now with this system. So we go here. And let's see. Suppressor. Actually, we'll keep that because I like it. What's this? Better scope. Get that. All right. Nothing for this one yet. Hmm. Oh, we can. Oh, my good heavens, we can craft air filters. I think. that though. What does that need? Five of the wrenches and 20 of the chemical things.
Hmm. Why did that? I guess that's a new area, maybe. A little bit of fallout, kind of gathering stuff and crafting mixed in here. I enjoy you have a backpack though and you don't have to look for workbenches in the game. Take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Break a leg. Hmm. Yeah. Trigger goes backwards, R goes forward. Okay, Ooh, look at those water graphics. Pretty. Should have explored over there first, but oh wow. Oh, there's monsters in here. get out of the boat is the question. Can I get into the boat here? Square. Alright. Light grip. So the light grip's actually better, I think. So that wasn't anything special. Nope, don't need to kick it off. The dirtier your weapon gets, the more performance degrades. Any workbench will allow you to fix the dirt problem. Uh, I don't like that feature. Let's see. Hmm. I don't see any mention of dirt. Can I only have two weapons? 
Oh boy. In the old game, we can have three weapons. Damn. See what's over here. Oh, I got, uh, I got stuff to gather up. Ingredients and such. All right. Thank you. 
brother, Silantius, has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful lot, so please keep your weapons shielded. And... New, ma new age Amish. Oh. Oh. Silantius locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's right. Get to the boat. We will rescue her later, don't worry. Go! Nasty and I can get to your train by ourselves. Eyes. Hey. So, where is that heretic? He came by boat during the sermon. And then what? Well, he, he was just there and then he kind of disappeared. And just like Father Salentius said, the man was sent by the devil. Uh. Yeah, I know. I know what Father said. Tell me if you saw where he went. Well, he just <laughs> went. Still, I'd rather have it this way. It's always some rants or something. You run around like crazy and... Come on! How's your day? No, I lied to you. We didn't kill anybody. Her father, he went to fight a demon and died. Uh, tell him, Kuzma. Yes, he went after mm -hmm. a demon. And we have many orphans like her here, so please mm -hmm. let us be. Artyom, I can't cover you when you're inside. I'm changing position to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. So tired of running after every rat. Fish consume them all. <laughs> yes. Look. Did you find him, my brethren? We will find him. He can't avoid the Lord's wrath.
are those heathens? I can't wait any longer doing nothing. God forgive me. The heretic is long gone, I think. So you have seen him? Can't even look at them. Father Kawanti has forewarned us about it. If you look at them, you would see technology. And that's a touch of Satan mm. that takes a hundred days of fasting and three hundred days of prayers to erase. Uh, so, did you seek him or not? I don't get it. Eh? Oh, quit bothering me. What do you care if I saw him? There was a heretic in the church, but a thin is away, and you are distressing us. I, I'm sorry, we were just looking for him and we... Ah, forget it. Have you found him? No, then. Do the words indeed. The Satan's spawn was not satisfied for destroying the old world. So no doubt, they want to bring their filth into our cloister. Down with them. What am I doing? Okay, here we go. Not sure where I'm supposed to go, but let's, let's see. Are you alright? All right. Great. I was starting to worry. You raised some hell in there. Oh well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you nice. aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. Oh shit. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> nice. Artyom, over here. Oh shit. You, it's a big boy. The big catfish. Oh shit. Huge. That's what she said. 
The old man sent me out as a forward sentry. Told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And so you subdue the occupation forces peacefully with a holy cross and a prayer. <laughs> Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Stop luck there. Why does everybody else get punished? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing his action or trying to get you to? should have landed on that field. We were still flying and it looked like we could have gone on for some time. And then that damn power line. What really what difference does that make anyway? We're not getting to Moscow from here, that's for sure. I don't really give a damn. I'm all alone, but the others, they have relatives there. Maybe. It's been ten years, but I could still be alive. Anyways. We'll have to make ourselves at home here now, since we're alive. The bridge seems like a nice place. At least it's not going to get flooded. We might end up going to Moscow by rail later. Well, we'll have to wait and see about that. Two thousand twenty eight, a mere seven years from now. Well, six years almost. So what mods we got here? Four times scope. I'm down. Sure. Mm. Now we'll keep the suppressor. Max these out, okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, lobster boy. Should have not taken the sky on. <laughs> oh, what? Maybe that's area, apparently. Oh, is he shielded? Like he's not even getting hurt? Hey! <laughs> Alright, I'll just leave that guy alone. It loads nice and quick. <clears throat> Uh, my weapon modification? Nope. Wait a minute. Wait a minute.
There we go. <coughs> and here's RTM back from the abyss of <gasps> You're alive! <laughs> Impressive after the horrors Duke told us about. Let's go. Dad's talking to Katya right now. They are so nice. Both Katya and her daughter. And Katya's medical training will come in handy. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. What do you know of the occupation forces? Huh? I'm sorry, I don't quite get what you... There are so none, dude. You've never seen any foreign army in this area. Nope. No, I haven't seen any army. Telling you a bunch but of bullshit, dude. But we haven't really dude. been to any important places. I see. Hmm. Hmm. Artyom, a moment. So. Thank you, Artyom. Artyom. Stop by my desk you once you're done talking to the place. old man. I've so got something for you. And then Anna picked us up. Great job saving them, Artyom. Katya here has provided us with vital information. A mechanic called Crest is hiding in the port. His help is required if we're to fix the Aurora in the foreseeable future. Yeramak can't handle the repairs alone. So once you're ready, go to the port and invite Crest to join us. Let's get back ASAP. We'll have to decide what to do about the fanatics on that bridge. Now we know for sure that the bridge is in working order. They crossed it last year when they got here. Well, at least some things are clearer now. But still, so many questions. There might not even be any enemy forces around here at all. They probably get us in the key regions only. In any case, we'll learn everything once we reach Yamantau. From the top source. The Moscow government is the same. Essentially a local council to put things in perspective. So, now we just need to figure out how to cross this goddamn bridge. How do you like the backpack? Is it comfortable? Can you operate stealthily with it? There you go, Artyom. I have a present for you here. A Tihar rifle. Ring any bells? It's pneumatic, but it still packs a wallop. Plus, making bullets for it is easy as pie, even in the field. Just remember to keep that pressure up. Otherwise, you might as well be spitting him out yourself. Other than that, it will never fail you. I did my best. So, bear it with honor. <laughs> and don't forget to drop by from time to time. I have a few ideas for improving it. By holding down square. Pressing R2. We all lost out with Anna. She's a total dead eye. Now I only wish your mom could come with Ah, the there's that uh dual sense pressure. <laughs> Katya, Nastya, come have some tea. Don't be shy. Thank you. So, Katya, where are you at from? This is in Ural. A couple of years ago, we heard there was this great place on the Volga. So we there we go, three different weapons. All right. Who could have known that fanatics were in control now? And they say this place used to be great. Did you come with your husband? Hmm? There were 15 of us, but now only Nastya and I are alive. I, I'm sorry. Artyom, are you going to the port? I'm going to relieve Alyosha now, so I can't come with you. 
His hand is still giving him trouble. So Katya being a nurse is just perfect. It will make convincing Dad to take them along so much easier. I'm going to talk to him about that later. Besides, he doesn't really want to leave them here himself. I can see that. But he's so hung up on those occupying forces, he can't even think of anything else. All right, you go run that errand for my father now. Just be careful out there. You know I worry about you. Artyom. Hello again, Artyom. You did great out there. Or so everyone says. <laughs> in the meantime, we have dug in here. We've been waiting for the occupying forces. But so far, we have only seen winged and four-legged ones. <laughs> Our ecology seems to sit badly with them. <laughs> Some bandit-looking characters in the distance, too. Need a boat. Rest to change the time of day and replenish your health. Huh. I'm not too down with rest systems. It's like, dude, let's not make the game too rural.
hell is the door coming in? Water. What? Water, please. Perhaps you would also care for a little snack. Fuck you. We get the door, you, you bring. bring home gang. I don't want to play for me. You bring me gone. The fuck? There's just nobody. I'm all alone. Please, let me go. Hey, you fucking sure? Yes, there's just nobody. Please, I beg you. Hmm. Looks like the door ain't coming. So. Sure, fish. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, sucks to be you. He's not getting untied? Huh, interesting. Gotta keep both eyes peeled all the time, right. and that's just the exhaust. With the boys while I had the chance. Uh, what the what the fuck is that? over there seems like some dickhead there <laughs> seems like some dickhead okay. there <laughs> Shit. what rotten fucking luck when it's some kind of shit it's always me but never the good stuff Oops, don't jump that high. This ain't an apex. There's far da fall damage. Okay, so I can untie this dude now. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, these devils caught me on my way to the house of the fish. I had a penance from the father Celandius and... So I got about halfway, and then this got me. Uh, oh, I, I see you're one of the heretics. But I tell you anyway, there is a cashier on this island. There is a device, but we can use it. It's a sin. 
Well, you could. I'll just have some rest here before I go back. I'll keep praying for you to this starfish for the rest of my life. Mm. It might save your soul. Good rain sound, by the way. These headphones. hard. Well, I think I'm going to call it a night.